Hey everyone, Halo Infinite's Entrenched event starts tomorrow, or today for some of you watching, and I've got to say the Fracture event itself looks quite interesting. With the Entrenched event, there will be a brand new armor core called Eagle Strike, and of course, because it's a Fracture event, there will be a 30 tier battle pass, and there are some pretty cool items in here. We have the Eagle Strike armor core, some cool stances, vehicle coatings for the Wasp, Mongoose, several armor coatings, shoulder pads, chest attachments, visors, knee pads, a utility, a wrist attachment, as well as the main helmet shown for the Entrenched event called Cobra. Now, as you guys can tell straight away, this has a bit of a World War II theme, and I've got to say, I actually quite like it. Now, my only problem with this event pass is that there are four slots taken up by the exact same emblem. 343 fixed that with the Tenra event when we all complained about it, so I'm quite surprised to see that they've done the exact same thing here. It is possible that this has changed for tomorrow, but I would not count on it. Besides the same emblem being repeated three times, everything else looks pretty darn nice, and I'm excited to unlock these items. Okay, besides the event pass, we've also got a brand new mode coming called Land Grab. Now, I've seen seen some footage of this game mode and I've got to say I quite like it. The only thing I will say is that it does feel very similar to Strongholds and that's not 343's fault, it's just because you've got zones but thankfully it does play very different to Strongholds with the zones moving around constantly and each time you get a zone you get a point. And to anyone that's played Halo 2, Halo 3, you'll notice that it feels very similar to Territories. So I do think the mode will be quite fun for us all when we play it tomorrow but I am curious to know your thoughts on it. Okay so because this is a Fracture event, this event will be returning six times over the duration of season 2. So you should see those dates on the screen for you now. Hopefully that will help you guys out so you can plan around when you're going to play this event. Please note that you can only unlock 10 items from the event pass each time the event is out. So you need at least 3 weeks to unlock every item. With that said, if you want to unlock 5 tiers each time it's out, that will work fine as well. For anyone wondering how the entrenched armor will look, here's a few snippets and screenshots of how the stuff will look from the battle pass as well as some things coming in the store. I've got to say I really like the look of these Spartans. The only thing I will say is that they are very different to how normal Spartans look, but I think that's supposed to be the point with these fracture events. Let me know if you guys like the look of these entrenched armors. I'm expecting some mixed reactions, but strangely enough, I like them. Very chunky boys, let's just say that. There is also a new kill effect coming, but I believe it's coming through the store, which is a bit of a shame. However, I want to show you guys what it looks like because I think it looks quite cool. Just again, it's a shame it's coming through the store. I'd say this is probably the coolest kill effect so far, but then again, I may be a bit biased because I just see a lot of flames and smoke, and that kill effect is called Eagle Claw. Yes, it's a shame it's in the store, but it looks pretty darn cool. And then of course, with a brand new Fracture event, there's going to be plenty of stuff through the store, but hopefully they'll price things nice and fair for us so the prices aren't ridiculous. Now the weekly reward for tomorrow, or today when you're watching this, is for the Eagle Strike Armor Core. It's a pretty nice amber visor, and I'll let you guys be the judge of it yourselves, but hopefully it's worth grinding. Alrighty guys, that's basically everything coming with the Entrenched event. Hopefully that was nice and easy to digest, and of course if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop me a sub, I'd really appreciate it guys. And with that said, I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good one.